camera crash. So. Hello, this is not a screen check of the big news today. The vendor shatters box office records, yes, for the weekend. And in other news, President Obama is becoming a pariah, pariah? Yeah. Oh, around the world. Oh, would that be possible? Hmm, I think they're blaming President Obama for all these things that are happening around the world. In their economy too, not just ours. Well, for now, we're going to bring all Kemal with comments on the headlines of today. And uh, isn't that the same shirt you had on, what was it, yesterday or the day before? The day before. Well, the trick is, is that I have multiple, I have multiple gray shirts because gray is a good color to work with on camera. And because my hair is bloody blonde, folks, but... Um, it, it also, because it's the clean, it was clean, it was on top, so. <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans as the underdog Obama easily expected to carry all 50 states. I love that. They're, they're predicting a 50-state sweep. Yeah, okay. Of course they predicted a 50-state sweep, the talking heads this morning, before the Greece government fell, before the Spanish government is falling, before the French government falls, before the German government is likely to fall, and um, they said that uh, everybody that uh, uh, supports Obama in Europe is being thrown out of office. They do not like his plans. Okay, you basically can't raise taxes at the same time you're firing people. There's no money coming in. And they, I pointed out one of the people from this morning, one of the people from Great Britain said that you can raise taxes on 100% of everyone in the universe that is making more than $100,000. They cannot fund any country in this world. They said, if you took all of the people in the whole world that makes more than $100,000, it would not fund the government of the United States for six months. That's every penny that they have. And prisons cut the cats for brown parrots, felons, and felines. Oh, it used to be ridiculous. Well, what it is is that the, the, the felons need some somebody, so they give them cats. Uh, and cats are independent little monsters. Cats will go wherever they want to. So trying to, you got to keep a cat caged up. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. They're just going to split. And Senator Mark Kirk home three months after stroke. See, this is a problem the Republicans have. They won the Senate. This Obama Senate seat. The senator had um, he had a, a massive stroke that he'll be able, they said he'll be able to return to the Senate, but he's going to be uh, partially paralyzed for the rest of his life. So they're trying to figure out what to do because they said it, Republicans have been down by one vote for three months, which is not good to have happen when, when you're in the minority to begin with. Photo captures bear falling safely from the tree after tranquilized by police. I know. The problem is, is that same bear was uh, killed last night by an automobile. Isn't that something? I mean, oh, really? Yeah, uh, an automobile hit that bear and killed him. Because the, okay, why do they take bears that are captured in captivity and take them to a somewhere place way off in the boondocks? Because they'll come back. They didn't take this tranquilized bear out to an area he couldn't come back from. He came back and got hit by an automobile. Oh. So they blame that directly upon the uh, the. Uh, he didn't take him out far enough. Well, no, they, because and he, he's partial. Even after the the tranquilizers wear off, he's still a little groggy for a while, isn't he? Well, no, he he wasn't groggy. He recovered, but he just came right back to where he'd been because they the the the, the capture program is you take them off to some other part in a the state, then they have to re, they don't know where they're at, so they stay there. Oh, where this one? He this one knew away. exactly where it was at. They took him back to his home and he just came back again. And woman allegedly calls in bomb threat over a $14 electric bill. I know. It's a, it's Are a, you serious? Yeah, that's, I don't get some of these things. But I mean, uh, basically, it, 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 it's, she just said that what it was, she said, I ought, to, I ought to blow the, I ought to. There's a difference between, they'll never convict her on an I ought to. Ah, uh, yeah. And Netflix is in serious trouble. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, the, the, they're a company that was built upon, you know, sending DVDs out in the mail that decided to go into production in order to be able to, to, um, to keep the base going and then charge, overcharge people for everything. So uh, because they're going into production, people that they were dealing with won't sell them their, their product anymore. And because they charge too much, 
nobody wants, a lot of people, they, they're bleeding, at, they're basically, they, they, they look like AOL now, they're bleeding so much support. And Ted Nugent says he's insulted by Army Base concert cancellation after remarks about the president. Well, yeah, because first of all, this country is cut. We have a freedom of speech. If the basically they know that the White House ordered that he not be allowed to perform, that once again, uh, Nugent is not a Republican. He's a libertarian. Obama cannot win the election by pissing off the libertarians and the independents, and that's just exactly what he continues to do. And Christy, Wisconsin is the center of the political universe. Well, yeah, because if the if the unions can force a person out because he refuses to kiss their rears, the whole country's in problem. Because the unions are basically, since Obama became president, the unions have lost less clout. So what they're trying to do is to muscle up every area they can and throw anyone out that doesn't agree with them. And if that you allow it to happen, you're going to. Uh, they're demanding a new minimum wage for the. They said the. The one percent is not, you know, does not want people to survive. Well, yes, they want them to survive because they don't buy their product if they don't have any jobs and money. And Georgia bans most late-term abortions and assisted suicide. Yeah, because they can do that. There's nothing. The Democrats basically stand on the other side in late-term. They stand on the side of the Republicans on late-term abortions that are not done for the health and well-being of the woman. And nobody likes assisted suicide because it's just murder, folks. They, they said doctors should not be involved in killing people. Oh, really? And suspect arrested in Navy veterans fundraising scam. They're always scamming people. I mean, I, my, I, know, my, I know so many people in the military that have bought land that's underwater in Florida. All right, here was the big one, though. For years, they were selling veterans land in, um, in Colorado. Mm -hmm. um, they brought water to that area. They built a god awful great big dam. It was San Juan, uh, uh, and basically all those guys got wealthy. They got these. They got these ten acre places over there with with water to them now. And Edwards' trial. Sherry Young admits husband drank heavily. Yeah, you know because okay, what happened was they, they the, the the trial. They said the trial should never have been brought to trial because what they didn't. Somebody didn't realize that Andrew Young spent a million dollars of that one point million dollars that he got on his new home. Really? And what happens is, is they had to give him immunity from grand theft. Did ta okay, you really want to give immunity to a guy that's been served in jail time already, so that his testimony isn't worth anything, and then give him immunity again to testify that something else that... Uh, you know, as a criminal, even though you took the bulk of the money, so, but that doesn't count. This person, no one likes him, so therefore convict him. Well, you're not supposed to convict a person based upon whether you like him or not, and when it gets to the higher courts, the higher courts, like the Lord Helmsley thing, they always kick you out. And five charged with conspiracy in Ohio bomb plot. Yeah, they were, they were, the, the Occupy people were going to blow up a bridge because it, uh, People need to pay attention that they represent the 99%. Yeah, anarchists represent no one but themselves. But it's just another example. The Democrats are refusing to condemn it, which they know it can. Uh, they, well, these are just a separate. No, these are guys, five really big members of the thing, so. Six month old baby girl with Facebook bucket list dies. I know. I mean, uh, first of all, a six month old couldn't have a list. This was to make the parents feel good. Of course. I mean, uh, you know, any, I, mean, I could, you know, basically they were utilizing the baby so that they could feel good about, you know, well, she died and she got to do all the things. She never knew what she wanted to do. She was a six-month-old baby. And Princeton freshman who rushed frats face suspension. They are suspending them. That's the bad oh, thing. Oh, really? Uh, political correctness is going completely crazy now. Princeton is an Ivy League school, and they're basically... Uh, you, we, you shouldn't join fraternities. Fraternities are evil. And Ivy League schools tend to be left, really left-wing. You've got left-wingers trying to keep you from being influenced by other left-wingers now. Ooh. And grandparents allegedly tow a seven-year-old behind the SUV while drunk. I, I, okay. Um, the problem is, is I haven't been drinking, and I would, I would tow mine behind it. I would take, you know, on the, on the tractor. They love it. You know, put them in the wagon, put them along behind the tractor. They thought it was fun. Most people that have tractors and Jeeps and those things take the little ones for rides across the property. You know, so 
And, uh, but you have to understand that most, most civilized people don't do that. No, they just don't get caught doing it. There's a difference. <coughs> and yeah. I'm going to bubble up. <coughs> this one from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. Uh, basically, those people <coughs> that are losers tend to continue to be losers, but they nowadays call them winners.